Hello, and welcome to exercise 56, Model a Bar with Text. For this exercise, we will be using the Small Objects Millimeters template. So let's go ahead and begin by going to File, New, Small Objects Millimeters, Open. In this exercise, we will make a solid primitive extract some surfaces, rebuild a surface and a form it, join the new surfaces into a solid, fill at the edges, add text to a surface, and do a Boolean operation on the solid. We're going to begin by creating a box. So let's go ahead and go to solid, box, oh, solid, box, corner to corner height. For the first corner of base in your command bar, go ahead and type in 0 comma 0 and then press enter. For the length, type 15 and press enter. For the width, type 6 and press enter. And for your height, type 1 and press enter. Now, before I proceed, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in in my perspective viewport. And I'm also going to change my viewport style from wireframe to shaded. Next, we're going to edit a surface. Let's go to the solid menu and then click extract surface. Now, Pay close attention in your command bar and make sure that copy equals no. Now, for the surfaces to extract, let's go ahead and select the top and both of the end surfaces. Like so. And then press enter. Now select the two ends oh, and delete them. Next, select the top surface, then go to Edit, Rebuild. For the point count, Set U and V to 4, and for the degree, set U and V to 3, and then click OK. With your top surface selected, now go ahead and turn on your control points, edit, control points, control points on. Now, working in your right viewport and making sure Grid Snap is on, Window select the middle points, like so, and drag them up one unit. Then you can go ahead and hit Escape to turn your control points off. Now we're going to make the bar solid. Go ahead and select all of the surfaces and join them by typing in join in your command bar and then pressing enter. The surfaces are joined, making an open poly surface. Now, with the surface still selected, go ahead and type in cap into your command bar to create two end caps and to close the shape. Next, we're going to fillet the edges. From the solid menu, select fillet edge, and then select fillet edge once more. In your command bar, make sure next radius is equal to one. And for select edges to fillet, go ahead and pick the four vertical edges 
One, two, three, four, and then press enter. For select fillet handle to edit, press enter once more, and that'll finish the command. Now we're going to use the fillet edge command once more. So I'm just going to right click to bring up the command. And this time I'm going to set the next radius to 0.2. Enter. For select edges to fillet, go ahead and window select the entire bar to get those horizontal edges and then press enter. For select fillet handle to edit, press enter and that'll complete the command. Now we're going to make a copy of the bar on a different layer. We need to make a copy of the finish bar for the next part of this exercise. On one of the copies, we will engrave text. On the other, we will emboss text. So go ahead and select the finished bar. Then go to your edit menu. Select layers. And then copy objects to layer. In your layer to copy objects dialog box, select layer one. And then click OK. Now go to your Layers panel and turn Layer 01 off. Now we're going to make solid text. Go ahead and change the layer to Layer 2. And from the Solid menu, click Text. Here, go ahead and set the text height to 3, your font to Arial Black, the actual text should read Rhino. Under Output, make sure it is set to Solids, and also make sure that Group Output is checked and then click OK. To pick a point, position the text in the center of the bar in your top viewport. And just so I have a bit more control, I'm going to go ahead and turn Grid Snap off. Now I can go ahead and click to place the text. Now, in your front or your right viewport, go ahead and select the text and drag it until it protrudes through the top surface, like so. Next, we're going to engrave the text in the bar. Go ahead and select the bar. And from your solid menu, Click Difference. For surfaces or poly surfaces to subtract with, select the text. Make sure Delete Input is equal to Yes, and then Enter or right click. You'll see that the text is engraved into the bar. However, it does not follow the curvature of the bar. And you can see this clearly in our right viewport, right? Now we're going to look at how to make this text better follow a curved surface. Let's continue with creating offset solid text. Occasionally, you will want to create text that exactly follows the curvature of a base surface. One method is to split the top surface of the bar with the text curves and offset the surface into solid text objects. The solid text can be used to engrave, 
difference or emboss union into the original surface or polysurface. To make a label, go ahead and turn layer 01 on and turn the default layer off, like so. Now, from the solid menu, click Extract Surface. In your command bar, make sure copy is equal to yes. And for the surfaces to extract, select the top surface of the bar and then press enter. Next, select the lower part of the bar and hide it by typing in the command hide in your command bar. Now let's move over to our top viewport and let's go back to our solid menu and select text. In the text objects dialog box, make sure your output is set to curves and also make sure group output is selected and then click OK. For the insertion point, position the text in the center of the bar once again in your top viewport and then click or press enter. Now we're going to split the top surface of the bar with this text that we just created. Right? And you can do this from either the top or the perspective viewport. I'm going to be working in perspective viewport. So go ahead and select the text curves and then go ahead and type in the command trim into your command bar and then press enter. For the object to trim, we're going to need to select the surface in three places. Near the outer edge, in the center of the O, and the center of the R. Right? And then you can go ahead and finish out that command. Now you can go ahead and delete the curves. And then go ahead and select your surfaces and group them together by typing in, oh, one more time, select all of your surfaces and group them together by typing in group into your command bar like so. Now your text surfaces are grouped together for easier selection. Now we're going to make this, these text surfaces into solid objects, right? So we're going to select the surfaces and in your command bar, go ahead and type in the command offset surface and keep in mind surface is abbreviated as S R, F, and then press enter. In your command bar, make sure both sides is equal to yes. That solid is also equal to yes. And that your distance is set to 0.1. And then press enter. Take note of the direction of your normals. In this case, we need them to be pointing upwards, right? And remember, you can change the direction of normals simply by clicking on the surface, right? In this case, they're all pointing in the correct direction, so I can go ahead and hit enter. And that will finalize that command. Now let's go ahead and give these new solids uh, different material properties, right? So I'm going to select them and in my properties tab I'm going to go to the material tab and use a new material that is custom with the color cyan. Okay, 
Now in my perspective viewport, I can change that to rendered and type show, enter into my command bar to reveal the hidden bar underneath. Now in your top viewport, we're going to create a copy using Gumball. Move down, activate Gumball, window select the entire bar. Now click and drag on the green arrow and without letting go of your mouse, tap one time on the Alt key on your keyboard to create a copy and then you can let go of your mouse. And now you have created a copy. Right, now I'm going to kind of full screen my perspective viewport. And I'm going to begin by embossing the text by doing a Boolean union to this bar on the bottom left by selecting both the text and the bar. And then I'm going to move over to my toolbar and do a Boolean union. The text and the bar are now joined into one closed poly surface with the text embossed on the surface. Now for this bar up here on the upper right, I'm going to make engraved text. So first I'm going to select the bottom poly surface now, from the toolbar, I'm going to activate my Boolean Difference command. For surfaces or polysurfaces to subtract with, I'm going to select the text. And yes, make sure Delete Input is set to Yes, and then Enter when done. And you'll notice that now the text and the bar are joined into one closed poly surface with the text engraved into the surface. Right. Now to finish off this uh, exercise, be sure that you move your bars accordingly. And that concludes exercise 56, model a bar with text.